Pretty much everybody agreed that segregation was the worst thing this country ever did. He was this close to letting the cat out of the bag entirely. And look, I don't think that that was an accident. I think that he deliberately almost misspoke because personally, he probably actually does think that segregation is based and he wants to signal to his white supremacist audience members that he's going to say that segregation is bad for purposes of this segment, but in actuality, he doesn't think it's bad. He actually thinks that it's good. And if I had to guess, he'd be using this segment, an example of liberal segregation to legitimize his own version of segregation later on in a future segment. Who knows? That's only speculation. But look at what he tries to compare to segregation. Vaccine passports. He doesn't say the word, but he's fear-mongered about this in the past. Take a look at what he has to say here. This is absolutely just delusional. Pretty much everybody agreed that segregation was the worst thing this country ever did. Forcing certain categories of citizens into separate lesser accommodations, barring them from public places, treating them like lepers or untouchables, that was completely immoral and wrong. We were told that a lot, and most of us strongly agreed. It was wrong. So imagine our confusion today looking out across the country. The very same people, literally the very same, who just the other day told us that segregation was immoral, are now enforcing segregation. Should we be surprised? Probably not, but we still are. Just this morning, the New York Times informed us that unless you can prove you have taken the injection that the Democratic Party demands you take, you are no longer permitted in bars, comedy clubs, even some dance competitions in the state of New York. You're too dirty to appear in public. You're not welcome near normal people. Want to watch the NBA playoffs in person? You had better be vaccinated to do that. Otherwise, the New York Knicks will bar you from Madison Square Garden. You can still go see a baseball game if you want to, but be warned, you will be sitting in your own roped off section, marinating in your shame with the other disobedient bad people. Medical Jim Crow has come to America. If we still had water fountains, the unvaccinated would have separate ones. So in short, be afraid, be very afraid, because we are now witnessing the birth of medical Jim Crow. Now, he says that Hypothetically speaking, in the event we still had water fountains, then vaccinated people would be forced to drink at their own water fountain and unvaccinated people would have separate fountains. Okay, let's assume that this actually would be the case, Tucker. Why don't you give us a little bit of a clue as to what fountain you'd be drinking out of? <laughs> Why don't you tell us about your vaccination status? Because we know that other Fox News hosts, they did get vaccinated because despite what they say they say on their program, they know that vaccines are safe and effective. So tell us which fountain you'd be drinking out of. Are you actually afraid of the vaccines or are you just virtue signaling to your conspiratorial audience who you know would turn on you if you tried to encourage them to do what's right for their health? Get vaccinated. I actually think he's vaccinated. He won't reveal if he's vaccinated. Fox News won't say whether or not he's been vaccinated because in the event he actually did say, yeah, I'm vaccinated, then obviously he'd be a fraud. Right. You can't complain about how there's so many questions unanswered about the vaccine, but then take it yourself. Right. That would contradict your own narrative. So that's why he's keeping this all in the hush hush. But if I had to guess, I would say he's vaccinated. He knows it's safe. And in the event we actually saw medical Jim Crow, as he says here, he'd be safe. He'd be part of the vaccinated crowd. But what he's saying here is so stupid. And listen, he says that it's the liberals who are enforcing segregation here via vaccine passports. But Every example that he gave, isn't it interesting that it's not actually the result of a Democratic Party policy? It's actually the result of private companies. It's like the free market is sorting it out. So don't worry, Tucker, you're a capitalist, right? So I'm sure that the invisible hand will sort all of this out. I mean, this is the uh, economic world that you've shilled for. You and your ilk have argued and fought for this dystopian hellscape that we're living in currently. This is the free market. It's not the result of Democratic Party policies. In fact, Joe Biden has been explicit in saying we're not going to institute vaccine passports at the federal level. However, if large multinational corporations, if the business world want to do that, then that's their own prerogative. Now, as a capitalist, I'm sure that Tucker Carlson would understand this. But I mean, unless his political ideology has flipped, then uh, he shouldn't be worried about what the free market does. He should trust in the free market. It's almost like a religion, right?
I mean, if you don't like what the free market is doing, this is the bed that you made, lie in it. Now, the most ridiculous part, I think is pretty obvious, right? This is obviously a false equivalence. He's comparing unvaccinated people to black people who were denied their humanity as a result of racism. You see the difference, Tucker, between someone who is a moron who chooses to go against their own better judgment and refuses to take this vaccine? They can choose to stop being stupid. They can choose to inform themselves and they can choose to get vaccinated. You can't choose to be black or not, Tucker. You can't choose to wake up one day and put on a white face and just be white. That's not the way that this works. So that's why these things are not comparable in any way, shape, or form. People who are vaccinated, they are choosing to be stupid. They are choosing to do this to themselves. And I haven't even seen, like, I haven't had a single company ask me for my vaccine status but if it, this is as widespread as he says it is, which it is not, then wouldn't the solution just simply be get vaccinated? It's safe. Then you get protected from COVID-19. I just, I don't understand the right wingers who downplay the severity of this highly contagious, deadly virus. And they say, well, look, the, the survival rate is like 99.9%. That's what they say. And that's actually a lie. The death rate is between one and 2%, depending on other factors, comorbidities, your age. But I mean, the, they're basically, they'll say, I'll take my chances when it comes to COVID-19. But when it comes to this vaccine, which is near 100% survival rate, I mean, how many people have died from the vaccine? There was that one woman who got a blood clot from the Johnson and jo Johnson shot. I mean, odds are you were overwhelmingly likely more at risk because of COVID-19 when compared to the COVID vaccines. So overall, I mean, this is more baseless fear-mongering by Fox News, and it's pretty disingenuous because we all know Tucker Carlson is vaccinated. But again, I want to I wanna basically let you know what I think he's trying to do here. He really wants you to think that this is actually comparable to segregation because eventually on his program, based on the trajectory that he's headed on, pretty soon he'll just be outright advocating for a white ethno state. I mean, he's already talking about the conspiratorial great replacement theory. He's this close to already doing that, right? So one one day he'll probably advocate for the uh, white ethno state that he desperately wants, and he'll be arguing for actual segregation. And the justification will be this right here. He'll say, well, look, the liberals are calling me racist for advocating for segregation, but they supported segregation. They supported medical Jim Crow. That's exactly what he's going to do. This is what Republicans do all the time. It's disingenuous, but understand that if you're listening to Tucker Carlson and you're taking him at face value and you're not actually vaccinating yourself, ask yourself this question. Why won't the, Tucker Carlson tell me whether or not he's been vaccinated? Isn't that a little bit suspicious? I mean, my viewers know my vaccination status. I'm fully vaccinated. So why won't he tell his viewers what his vaccination status is. It's almost like he's trying to tell you what you want to hear. And he knows that ignorance is bliss and you don't want to inform yourself because you feel more right and you're worried about the vaccine because you're uninformed. I mean, there's nothing left to say about this. Tucker Carlson has been uh, getting worse and worse lately. But um, yeah, he's now comparing vaccine passports, which are almost non-existent at this point in time, to segregation.